Hi, uh, hello friends, welcome back. It's been a long uh, that we have recorded a video. So today we are doing it. Again, we have picked up a topic that is very familiar these days. That is Tele ERP 9. It has launched uh, a new uh, series to it. That is 6.4. Uh, so today we are going to cover its new feature and what are the latest update on uh, this Tele ERP 9. Our source, uh, I've mentioned it over here, is telesolutions.com. You can visit that and see for yourself also. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, first, we'll cover what are the you know new features that they have added. So I'd like to just brief you. This is the latest version of Tele ERP 9 or release 6 with version 6.4. was launched on 23rd February 2018. The key things that uh, you know uh, they address is GST compliance. First is uh, Tele has updated GSTR1 as per the changes made by GST and as you all know that uh, on 20th, 20th February GST had uh, GST and had made a lot of changes you know uh, in GSTR1 Excel offline utility tools and with JSON format. Uh, so within no time, Tele has implemented and adapted to all these uh, changes. In Tele ERP 9 release 6.4, uh, this ensures that uh, you can file GSTR 1 easily and without any problem. I have kept this little note. If uh, you are filing GSTR 1 on monthly basis, uh, then uh, for the month of January 2018, last date of filing uh, is March 10, 2018. Moving on to the next one. Uh, now you can very easily manage your e-way bills uh, using Tele ERP 9 in release 6.4. Uh, you can create an invoice before you know uh, transporting goods. Tele ERP 9 captures all necessary details required to capture e-way bill. You need not re-enter all these details in e-way bill portals. Uh, just export the invoice in JSON format and upload to the portal for generating eBay bill. It's very simple on you know a uh, couple of clicks and it's done. After you know uh, eBay bill number has been entered, that's called EBN. Uh, it is it in its corresponding invoice. Print the invoice and hand it over to the transporter. That's uh, like your job is done. You can also export the JSON file for single invoice or for multiple invoice together in one go. That is pretty convenient. In the mode of transport, if the mode of transport and vehicle number or place of supply in a state are the same and given in set of employees, uh, set of uh, invoices, sorry, you can group the invoices accordingly and generate a single JSON file for consolidated eBay bill. For the first, uh, but first you have to generate eBay bill before the invoice as a prerequisite. That is a mandatory thing. Uh, after that, uh, Tele ERP9 also identifies the invoices for eBay bill uh, are yet to be generated. You can add, modify, delete, consolidate, track eBay bills against invoices. You can generate eBay bills on behalf of your supplier, transporter, or in case of uh, purchases made from unregistered dealers, and also credit notes, delivery notes, and receipt notes as well. It's you know each and everything is of eBay bill has been covered with Tele ERP 96.4 release. After that, the you know, uh, they have also addressed in this release is uh, the GST compliance and for composite dealers. Uh, they have tried to make the life simple for them. Uh, they have defined the applicable flat uh, rate, tax rate for the business at the company level. Tele ERP 9 applies the rate on your taxable turnover and calculates the tax liabilities accordingly. So that has been done automatically now. Tele ERP 9 calculates tax on purchases made from registered dealers and allocated to the purchase cost. It lets you, uh, you know, uh, account tax liabilities on advances, payments, and purchases made under tax reserves, like reserve charges. Uh, a composite dealer can uh, generate e uh, like easily bill of supply for your sales as per the GST format. You can directly export GSTR4 in JSON format and upload it to GST portal. That is, that's been done very, you know, uh, convenient for you and uh, easy. Also, now they have, you know, tried to address the important enhancement in CES ledgers. So I'll just uh, quickly brief you what they have done over here is 
in release 6.4 you can create ses ledgers based on quantity and value of the items ses can be bifurcated accordingly and shown in the invoice and tax analysis reports the printed invoice will you know uh, show the bifurcation that's about it thank you guys if you have found uh, this uh, you know video helpful please like the video subscribe to our channel will be motivated to create other videos thank you bye bye have a nice day